All right, now, so let's look at the types of databases. What are the various kinds of databases? And the most commonly used, most commonly known, heard is relational database. Right. Now, in relational databases, the database are stored in the form of tables. That is, there are rows and columns. Columns are, of course, are attributes and rows is the actual data that we have in the tables, right? So they are basically tables among which the relationship between these tables are already defined. That is how these tables are connected. We'll look into that once we move to relational databases to a certain better depths because we'll have to because this is something that we'll be looking at for most of our time, right? SQL actually works on relational databases only. So this is something that we need to understand. But there are certain other kind of databases, something like hierarchical. Hierarchical databases in which there is a natural hierarchy. For example, something like uh, we have a database in which there is a country. Then we have uh, many states. We have many states over here below the country. So state 1, state 2, state 3, state 4. And then we have cities. A state can have many cities, not the vice versa. So there's a natural hierarchy over here, isn't it? Such kind of databases or such kind of data modeling is called as hierarchical data modeling. And the databases which follow this particular type of data model are called hierarchical data models. There are certain other as well, something like network. Now, network and hierarchical are not uh, very different, right? Hierarchically, of course, there is a natural hierarchy. Network, uh, it looks uh, similar to uh, what we are seeing in hierarchical. Let's look at it. So, in a network database, the data points or the data bases are in a network, right? So, this is connected. There is a two-way relationship over here. There is a two-way relationship over here as well. Similarly, here as well. It might be connected to this one as well. So it really follows a certain network and such kind of databases are called network-based databases or network databases. Not very common, right? Both hierarchy and network. Then we have others as well, something like object-oriented. Object-oriented databases are majorly stored data in the form of objects, right? And this is how they function. It's good for storing complex data, especially for images and videos. This is something which is slightly better than relational hierarchy and network databases. So these are the various kinds of databases. As of now, I think this is good for us to study this much only because we'll be focusing mostly on the relational database in which the database, I repeat, are stored in the form of tables these tables are connected to each other. They can talk to each other. You will understand what is the meaning of that statement. And there is a predefined relationship between the tables. All these tables come together and form a database management system. And we can do plenty of things. We can actually do wonders with such kind of databases. We'll see that soon.